As promised, we have more leaks of the Nikon Z6 Mark III, this time from Nikon China as well as other sources. But first, let's cover the information that we have from Nikon China as it's getting a lot of attention this morning. These screen grabs? They're in Mandarin. But there are no specifications of the Nikon Z6 Mark III. Instead, Nikon China is promoting their event, saying that the Beijing station will showcase Nikon's newly released Nikon Z6 Mark III and offer Nikon Z series products for the audience to test, meeting the needs of movie enthusiasts who want to have close contact with the brand. And this Beijing announcement is really no different than what we got from Nikon USA. It's a little bit different. Nikon USA delivered this teaser video about the Nikon Z6 Mark III hinting at new capabilities in the camera and focusing a little bit on the video specifications. Then finally telling us at the end that Nikon will be announcing the Z6 Mark III on Monday, June the 17th at 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. But there's one, there's one piece of information from that Nikon China um, full-blown spread that kind of teases a little bit about the capabilities. And I've got some information to follow up on that in just a moment, but they talk about movie enthusiasts. Now this is, this kind of sets us up to the Nikon Z6 Mark III being far more capable in terms of its video specifications. And I've got some information in just a moment, but first let's turn our attention to the price. According to a private Facebook site, the Nikon Z6 Mark III is going to cost, now this is in euros, not dollars. So dollars will definitely be less will cost $29.99. And based on what we've seen from other release pricing recently, such as the Canon RF 35mm f1.4, which was rumored to cost somewhere around 2,000 euros, which I think is coming in at around $19.99 or $18.99, but in US dollars costs $14.99. I think we can see if it does come out with a price of $29.99 euros, we're probably looking at a US price somewhere of around, let's say $23.99 to $26.99 which is pretty close to the release price of the predecessor, the Z6 Mark II, which I think was around $24.99. Let's go ahead and read the quote. A source was able to pre-order the Nikon Z6 Mark III. I can say that the price will be €29.99 Euros and delivers at the beginning of July. I know what you're thinking. There's no pre-order links available right now. I know these smart pre-order links, they are posted in the comment section down below and I've had them at the bottom of the screen, but those, if you read the fine print at the bottom, these smart pre-order links won't be effective until, and this is key here, until the embargo is lifted. And that'll happen sometime Monday morning, starting at 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What we have here is likely somebody dealing with a small retailer, a retailer that has some information and knows information about the Nikon Z6 Mark III. They don't have any sort of fancy system like B&H or Adorama does where you, as soon as the embargo is lifted, the link is available and you're put into a queue. They're probably using some sort of spreadsheet or maybe just a piece of paper and they were able to pre-order. They know the price and so the person was able to pre-order the camera and they're letting us know. So €29.99, Euros, it's certainly plausible. It makes sense. Now, we were wondering based on the price of the Nikon Z6 Mark II being what, around $15.96, um, that maybe the Nikon Z6 Mark III might come in somewhere around $2,000 to $2,200. But this pricing would indicate closer to 3,000 euros or around $2,500. And we're looking at a July delivery. But let's take a look at size and then we'll get to some video specifications. The size of the Nikon Z6 Mark III is definitely gonna be bigger than its predecessor. And this is according to, and, and this and Nikon Rumors has already said this. So this is further validating what Nikon Rumors has said. And looking at this graphic here, we can actually see how big the Nikon Z6 Mark III is going to look in comparison to the Nikon Z8, so obviously a little bit smaller, but definitely bigger than the Nikon Z6 Mark II by a considerable margin. And that's really good news because the actual video specifications for this camera, according to another source, again from a private Facebook page, indicates that the video specifications of this camera are definitely going to be far and um, far far greater than the competition, such as what we see in the Canon EOS R6 Mark II and the Sony a7 IV. So let's first of all start about start off with 4K. According to the source, as you can see here, it's gonna be capable of doing 4K at all the basic frame rates, 50, 60, 100, 
and 120 frames per second. And that is impressive. So if the price turns out to be around 2,500 US dollars at 4K 120 for a full frame camera, that is impressive. But that's not all in terms of 6K. Yes, it can do 6K 24, 25, and 30 frames per second but it can also do up to 60 frames per second, so 50 and 60 frames per second. And that is impressive because nothing in this product category can do that. 4K 120 and 6K up to 60 frames per second. The, the other details will help showcase whether this is really designed for movie enthusiasts, whether it's really that far ahead and above what the competition does. What are the, is it gonna do Nikon RAW? Is it gonna do Apple ProRes? What are the video re resolutions of fresh refresh rates in terms of what codecs are gonna be offered? That's really important here, but already to see 6K up to 60 frames per second and 4K 120 frames per second, um, again, unless this source is leading us astray, but again, this is further validating what Nikon Rumors has put out several months ago. This is not, something that I've just pulled out of thin air and has no correlation to anything else. But uh, this is a very good point that I know some of you are already suggesting. Until we actually get the full leak specifications from Nikon themselves, there is a, still a bit of a probability that some of this stuff could be off. And we, we probably will have that long before Monday. Look at the Nikon Z8. We had all the leaked information and pricing before the event on May the 10th last year. And I think we're going to get pretty much the same here. We won't know 100% sure, but we've seen this before. We've got leaked press releases. We've got full leaked boxes showing the retail specifications. So it's looking really exciting that um, probably maybe even later today, maybe tomorrow, but we're gonna know very, very soon. And the Nikon Z6 Mark III is looking to be an impressive camera. One thing also too, if we go back to the Nikon Z6 Mark II and the Nikon Z7 Mark II, You'll recall that we didn't have any fanfare. We didn't have an event. It was just all of a sudden a press release was issued and the products were available on Nikon's website. No scheduled event like we have here from Nikon USA, a full week before the announcement with a teaser video. This should tell you something right there. The Nikon Z6 Mark III is going to be a big update, big enough to have an event, big enough to have their ambassadors to talk about this camera. And as you can see from the teaser video, they're using their own cameras, unlike certain other companies using Nikon ambassador images to promote their cameras, a company to be not named, but you know who they are. Um, no, Nikon is very proud about this camera and I, I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with the capabilities. Now for some who don't like 24.5 megapixels and based on the feedback I got yesterday, many of you are pretty happy with 24.5 or don't have an issue with it. For those looking for a higher resolution, yeah, you're probably not gonna be happy with this camera. And instead you might wanna take a look at the Nikon Z8 because it's a 45 megapixel sensor doing 8K video and it can be had for $500 off at $34.96. The Nikon Z7 Mark II is also on sale, $700 off at $22.96. And of course the predecessor to the Nikon Z6 Mark III, the Mark II can be had for $15.96. And you can also consider the competition. It's also on sale for $19.99. There's an awful lot to help you make your decision. So uh, what we're gonna be doing on Monday morning, Monday, June the 17th at 7 a.m., one hour before Nikon's announcement, I'm going to be providing live coverage. I'm gonna have my expert panel. We're gonna talk about the latest leak specifications, who this camera is really designed for, who the competition really is. Is it the Nikon? Sorry, is it the Canon EOS R6 Mark II? Is it the Sony a7 IV? What about the Panasonic S5 Mark II and the 2X and other cameras? Who's the real, who is the real customer for this camera? Is Nikon moving away from the photographer to the videographer? We're gonna cover all that in the first hour leading up to the event. Then we're gonna cover the event live, looking to see how accurate we have been, Nikon Rumors has been with the leaked specifications on this camera. And hopefully I'm working really hard on this. I'm still lining up guests. I've already got two guests confirmed for my expert panel Monday morning, but I'm looking to get somebody who actually has hands on with a camera. So instead of just watching the Nikon event, we can actually ask questions live to somebody who's held the camera in their hand that, that have shot with it. Sometimes I have success, sometimes I don't. It's really hard because what happens is people who have these cameras, on the date of announcement, they have their own videos, they have events to attend. So I'm just saying, you probably wanna 
you probably want to show up at 7 o'clock in the morning, Monday. I've got the whole day off. I'm not going to be in a rush. We're going to have fun with this. I think this is going to be one of the most enjoyable product announcements this year. And then next month, of course, we have the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. So it's really, really exciting. But there is one thing I want to address right now, which is the FOMO, and that's the fear of missing out. I just told you about several deals on right now, the Nikon Z6 Mark II, Z7 Mark II, the Nikon Z8, the R6 Mark II. I've got about another 20 to 30 links in the description down below. We just had a bunch of pre-orders, announcements for the C400, the RF 35mm f1.2, the 50mm f1.2, and we also had the Panasonic GH7. There's an awful lot of announcements right now. I've got those pre-order links in the description. And as far as every Canon camera, every Nikon camera out there right now, other than the Nikon Z9, incredible deals. And I'm not talking $100 off, $50 off. I'm talking about $700 off, $500 off. The Canon R5, uh, $2899, that's $1,000 off its release price. The Canon R3 is $2,000 off its release price at $39.99 at B&H right now, not at Arama. You have to click on a link for them to email you the price, but you can pick it up for $39.99. The Nikon Z8's on sale, a uh, whole bunch of lenses, really incredible deals. And if you click on my links down below or my affiliate links, my pre-order links, you're not going to have to enter any codes. You're not going to be directed to a special website. It takes you directly to Adorama, b &H, or Amazon, where you can go ahead and order or pre-order. However, I need to be transparent. I don't want you to have to sift through a whole bunch of information in the description. If you do use these links, I could make anywhere from 2 to 12% back as a commission. This doesn't take away from your price. You'll pay the same price as anybody else who doesn't use my links. But the benefit is you get a really great deal and you get to support this channel which is the best of both worlds, isn't it? Anyhow, that's it for now, uh, but we'll probably see each other really, really soon. I wouldn't be surprised if I have another video coming out today, if not, definitely tomorrow, because things are starting to leak fast and furious. I'm pretty excited, what about you? Let me know in the comment section down below, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have yourself a great day, and we'll see you again soon.